what's up? Welcome to the abs channel. I'm just kidding. What's up guys? Jake Abdenor, 252 marathoner, kinesiologist, and core exercise extraordinaire. Today I'm going to show you guys some awesome core strength exercises. They're fun, they're enjoyable, you can do them anywhere, you don't need any equipment. And most importantly, they will make men out of boys, they will make six packs out of dad bods. Rawr! But seriously, these are actually really good exercises. I learned them a few years ago when I was in gymnastics, so it's all body weight, but because of the leverage you're putting on yourself, it can be like a tremendous amount of force and stress on the core. So they're really, really, really good for core strength. They're way better than sit-ups. Sit-ups totally suck. Forget them, get rid of them. They're terrible for sport. This, this, that is to keep everything stable. When you're running, you run forwards, you don't bend, you don't bend like that. When we're running, we're not going like this. There is no point at any time when you're running that you should be doing that motion at all whatsoever, so don't do that. When you're running, you don't want your pelvis to tilt back, you don't want your pelvis to tilt too far forward, you want it to stay nice and neutral. And when you run as you do this motion, I think they're undisputed masterpieces, hip to be square, a song so catchy. And you should be more or less straight facing. There shouldn't be excessive rotation or anything like that. And over the next three parts of this video series, I'm gonna show you three fantastic exercises that I personally always do. I haven't voluntarily done like a sit up in a decade. I, they're so boring and they just suck and they're just not fun and like, what's the point of the curl? It's just not, okay. So today we're talking about leg lifts. All right, first things first, take off your shoes, toss those aside. These are already gonna be hard enough without the extra weight. These bars are called stall bars. They're perfect for this exercise because as you notice, there's bars behind me on my back, which pushes my shoulders forward so I don't use them during the activity. If you don't have access to these, it's no problem. You can use a regular pull-up bar. Grab onto the bar and just hang there. Just relax. Don't pull with your lats, just hang. Now start to lift your legs up. As you do this, make sure you point your toes and make sure there's no bend in your knees. Your legs should be totally straight. Keep your legs tight and active. Slowly lift your legs. Pull from your stomach. Hold for a second or two at the top, then slowly come down. Go up as high as you can go. It's really important that you don't pull with your lats. Don't swing. Don't have any momentum. Don't do that. If you find yourself pulling, or you find yourself swinging, flip your hands around. When you hold the opposite direction, it almost deactivates your lats so you can't pull. You're forced to use your stomach only to lift your legs. Really focus on pulling with your stomach. It's your stomach you're trying to train, not your lats. So squeeze your quads, point your toes, clench your calves. Don't pull with those lats. Only use your core to pull your legs upwards. Hold at the top as high as you can for two seconds, then come down. If done correctly, it's very challenging and very rewarding. So as you might have guessed, these are actually very difficult. When I first started doing these, like the first time I ever did them, my feet could barely go off the ground. That's okay, that's not a big deal. Over time, your core will get stronger. Eventually, I promise, you'll get strong enough to where your feet will be able to go up and touch the bar. The top of your foot will be able to hit your hand, which is pretty cool. Think of it as like adding weight on a bench press or something. So touching your feet to the top of the bar is like a 300 pound bench press. Say so here, here's your legs, right? This is 300 pounds. This is the beginning. Maybe you're just starting out and this is maybe like 50 pounds of weight or like 50 pounds on your bench press, right? So with this exercise, you start here and then over time, each degree will be a few more pounds, a few more kilos and then over time, you'll be able to go up and up and up and up as you get stronger. You gotta start somewhere, right? So if you're starting at a 50 pound or 100 pound bench press, then so be it. The entire time you'll be strengthening your core. So, no big deal. So just be patient and be diligent with this exercise. I promise it's a fantastic one. Also, if this is easy for you, cool. I remember the days. If you can do more than 10 of these consecutively in a row, all the way up to the bar, then you should add weight. So basically you get tiny little weights, like one or two pound weights, and put them in between your feet. So you clamp them as you go up. Seriously, if you're doing extra weight, start off super light, like one or two pounds. That's why I took my shoes off. You could also use ankle weights as well. All right guys, welcome to leg lift land. Get them, got them, put them in your routine. Get that six pack, I'm just kidding. Add them in your routine, they're fantastic, I promise. Your core, will thank me later 
when it gets stronger and like more six packy, but uh, but it's gonna be a little sore at first. Just a heads up, have fun with it. Do it maybe three times a week. Try three sets of 10 reps or to failure. Doesn't matter the range, just as long as you're kind of, you're pushing and squeezing and then holding at the top as long as possible. Okay, next video will be about body levers. See ya.